Hey guys, this is Crypto Cruise once again bringing you another crypto market update and news and some tips and pointers with Coin Financial. Just a little disclosure if you're looking for financial advice, you will not find it here. This is just for educational and entertainment purposes only. Read the full disclosure down below in the description. Okay, now let's get started. So, looking pretty bad. Let's just dive right into the tech analysis. So right now, that's a major red candle um, that we see right here. But I actually were expecting this because two weeks ago, I did talk about us breaking out of a falling, a, a larger falling wedge and uh, expecting us to break out and then retest the resistance that became support. And I will show you a clip of my video talking about that two weeks ago okay let's see oh, it'll be right here he closed the day above that resistant line and what was once resistant becomes support so now we've broken out of that this falling wedge and that resistant line has now become support i am expecting us to test that support before we move higher right so it looks like this candle is starting to go red but you know there's always a chance that we could go higher before we actually test this support line but i am expecting definitely expecting um more than a lot more times in this scenario when you break up you always read we usually right we usually retest the resistant line that becomes support right all right so there you go um we're back now in our chart and again this is what's happening we are in the four hour chart the the clip that i showed you was a one day chart if we go to the one day you will see exactly what i was talking about see now that looks familiar correct so that video was taken right here right there and that there's that red candle that I was talking about. And I said there was a chance that we could go higher before we go back down and retest this resistant. And guess what? We did go higher after that red candle. And now we are coming back down to retest this resistant. So it's not game over yet. I mean, we are in a bearish sentiment. We are seeing blood in the streets and everything. But what we have here actually if we go back to the four hour all right what we have here is a widening falling wedge okay a widening falling wedge is actually a bullish sign right we're bouncing up and down here right now we actually tipped the bottom of that falling wedge right so there is a chance that we can break that and just go straight down here right now okay that would actually that would actually be nice if we actually do that now now rather than later because i'm done waiting right and i'm like i said i'm expecting us to retest that i don't want to prolong it but the prolonged scenario is we actually bounce off of this go back up here re uh, and retest this uh resistant right and then get rejected again and go lower to finally retest this support if that happens we're going all the way down to 319 32000 dollars if this happens now we could like just sh straight shot down right now we will see 32800 a little below 33k right if we prolong it there's a good chance we'll meet somewhere around here where the wedge and the where the widening wedge support and my bigger resistant meets and it's at 31.9 okay so again i actually would rather see this fall all the way down to 32,800 now than see a 31,900 later okay again so we're gonna zoom back out right Actually, no, we're staying here. We're going to stay here and just look at 
the short term or the, the scenario if we actually finally break this falling uh, widening wedge, right? If we actually go back up and actually break this falling widening wedge, the next target would be this green line right here, which is at 41,200. Okay, so that is my analysis. We're pretty much, again, like I said, trading is trading and buying is, is it's all about waiting for that breakout. Right now we haven't broken out yet, right? Um, again, I'm actually rooting for us to go down lower and break this right here so we can uh, ret finally retest this support line okay uh so now let's go let's go to the news okay let's go with the the actually a lot of bullish bullish news right now okay um hold on one second Ooh, where is my news so total stable coin supply hits 180 billion dollars okay so stable coins Stable coins are meant to be burned when they are sold off. They're actually burned when they're sold off, all right? It is stable coins. But right now, it made, right now, it crossed $180 billion of stable coins that's being held. Y'all guys know what that means, right? That means that there are $180 billion stable coins ready to come in to buy crypto that is exactly what that means i mean the, if if uh if people are are selling their bitcoin right and cashing out then it would be in fiat it wouldn't be in stable coins but no people have sold people have been selling probably some smarter people sold at the top right and as you can see, the stable coin holdings just keeps going up and up and up. These stable coins are staying as stable coins and not cashing out into fiat. These are sideline money ready to be poured back in to the crypto market, to, to, to Bitcoin and to altcoins. So that's $180 billion ready to pour back into Bitcoin and altcoins. Guys, that is huge. That is huge news, right? And Mexican senator proposed crypto law. We need Bitcoin as legal tender. So now Mexico, just right down right there in the border. I live in Texas, so it's just right there. Our neighbor is wanting Bitcoin to be legal tender following the footsteps of El Salvador, right? So that's another major adoption. Uh, more, more and more countries, especially in the South, are following El, Salv El Salvador's footsteps. And then Grayscale launches campaign to encourage public comments on Bitcoin ETF applications, right? So the Grayscale has taken upon themselves to try to actually convince the US government the U.S. Fed to, to finally uh, approve a Bitcoin spot ETF. And yes, guys, the, we have still been waiting for this. And when this happens, that's, oh man, that's that's when the, our next high, right, like really parabolic move starts from with, you know, my opinion, right? So, and also... Yeah, so also um, the the FUD, FUD's happening right now with, with Russia and, and, and uh, Ukraine and um, what's happening in Canada and all that stuff, uh, Canada freezing accounts, that actually just proves, like, think about it, guys, that just proves that Bitcoin, we need Bitcoin, That's, uh, Bitcoin can solve all of this problem. Now, don't ever forget that Bitcoin was built to solve these problems, right? It's just the people that are selling, they're the ones panic selling. They're the one that doesn't understand the technology. They don't, uh, you know, they, they just in it for quick gains, quick money. But this is a long-term gain, guys. So that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you you stay calm and everything again. Uh, I'm still bullish on Bitcoin long term. The just the tip that I want to give to y'all is 
when everything is down, everything is crashing, everything is slow, we're in a bearish sentiment or a bear market, that is actually where the real money is made. All right. Unfortunately, a lot, 90% of people, they don't do that. Instead, when the, all the prices are high, everything is going up, that's when most people think that's where they're going to make money because they think it's just going to keep going up and up and up. And guess what? Right when they buy, the market crashes. Okay, so right now is actually the best time to start buying up more Bitcoin and crypto. Um, again, this is not financial advice. Uh, do your own research. But the big money, uh, the real money is made when everything is down. Okay, make sense? All right, until next time, I'll see you again.